So you're considering buying real estate right here on Pensacola Beach. Well, today I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know in hopes that it helps make your decision. What's happening, folks? My name is Brant, your real estate agent right here along the Florida Gulf Coast. And I have lived in this area my entire life. I grew up in a little town just north of Pensacola called Milton, Florida, and I have been coming to Pensacola Beach my entire life. 11 years ago, I moved to Pensacola, so I am very familiar with this entire area. And over the years, I've had so many real estate clients purchase properties here along the beach, vacation homes, and some full-time residents. So I wanna give you my knowledge from a local's perspective as to what you can expect buying real estate right here on the beach. What a beautiful morning it is out here. That is the Pensacola Beach Fishing Pier. It is actually under construction right now. They're repairing it, so it is not open, but it's one of the coolest places to just go and walk out on, fish, see the marine life. The water is so clear right now. Spring is here and I'm super excited about it. So let's start this video off by giving an overview of what is Pensacola Beach. Well, Pensacola Beach is uh, located in the Florida Panhandle in Northwest Florida. It has some of the whitest sand that you will ever see and obviously beautiful emerald green water. What is really interesting about Pensacola Beach compared to other parts of Florida is the beaches are public and so it's going to be much easier finding beach access here than it would be if you were like down in South Florida. But that being said, the beaches are well maintained, well kept, and the area is very family friendly. This is where a lot of families come on their vacation just because of what this beach has to offer. Which brings me to the next thing that I love about this area. No matter what your interests are, there is something for you to do. You can go explore the rich history here and go down to Fort Pickens and spend the day hiking, camping, going through the war forts. If you like fishing, you can book a charter boat here. We have some of the best charter boat captains along the Panhandle. Or if you don't want to book a charter and you just want to see what they catch, you can go down to the Pensacola Beach Marina over here and watch the fish come in. That's something that's super popular. You can obviously just spend the day out here on the beach, walking on the pier, going to the boardwalk. And don't sleep on our seafood restaurants. We have some of the best seafood restaurants anywhere along the Gulf Coast. My favorite is the Grand Marlin. I actually did a review of the Grand Marlin on this channel if you want to go check that out after you watch this video. It's truly a great experience, but you have to make a reservation. Don't think you're going to walk in that place. Another thing that's become super popular here just because uh, of the public beaches is surf fishing. And so a lot of people surf fish for pompano and whiting and redfish. We have a great pompano fishery most of the year. So if fishing is your thing or you want to give fishing a shot, surf fishing is about as easy as it comes because you just set up right there on the beach, sit in your lawn chair, <laughs> grab a drink, and wait for the rod to go off. <laughs> Check this out. I'm in a parking lot right now in the most popular area of Pensacola Beach. It's almost spring break and there is not a soul in this parking lot. But even when it gets crowded, there's so much parking here available. And this is not the only lot. There's parking lots all up and down this beach. And so that is something that is very unique to this area and super convenient compared to other beaches. So now let's talk about some of the real estate options that you're going to have out here on Pensacola Beach. You can buy a vacant lot a townhome, a beach house, a condo. What you decide to purchase solely depends on your wants and needs and what is going to enrich your life. That's what I tell everybody who's considering buying on the beach. Is it going to enrich your life? If, if it's going to make memories for you and your family, then I think that that is a great investment in itself. Now let's break the real estate down into two categories. First of all, vacation rentals, and second, full-time residents. Let's start with talking about vacation rentals because they're very popular out here on the beach. And one of the biggest questions that I get asked as a real estate agent is, Brent, what is better for a vacation rental? A condo, a townhome, or a beach house? I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of each. If you purchase a beach house, you're gonna A, have way more privacy. It's gonna be like your own. It's similar to purchasing uh, your own home. And you're usually not gonna be hit with near the amount of fees that you would be hit with on a townhome or condo. 
And so if you are buying this for an investment and you do want to get a mortgage on that property, you have a much better chance of breaking even out here on the beach or even making money with a beach house than you do with a townhome or condo. So those are two major pros in the beach house category. Also with a beach house, you're not gonna have near the restrictions that you're gonna have with a condo or townhome. The HOAs on condos and townhomes are pretty strict. So let's say that you buy a condo thinking that it's gonna be a vacation home and you're gonna use it as a short-term rental and then all of a sudden that condo uh, restricts short-term rentals. So that's a problem you're probably not gonna have with a beach house. And so those are several pros that I give to the beach house. Now let's talk about some pros that the condos and the townhomes have. It is a beautiful day. It just keeps getting better by the minute out here. It's almost 80 degrees today too, which is really a nice change because it's been, it's been a pretty cold winter. So I would say one of the biggest pros for a condo and townhome is the amenities. So you are gonna pay that higher HOA in a condo. However, it's usually gonna come with a pool, uh, maybe even a restaurant. You're not gonna have to repair things yourself. Usually that will be done by the condo handyman. So if you don't want the hassle of having to own your own home and you want everything done for you and you want all these extra amenities, condo and sometimes a townhome can be a really attractive option. I will say, and this is just uh, something that we're seeing in the industry right now, if you are going to finance a beach property, you have a much better chance of getting a loan on a beach house than you do a condo. It's been tough lately to get lenders to loan on these condos. And so that's just something to keep in mind when considering what to buy out here on the beach. Now, if you are putting down a lot of cash or paying cash, it doesn't matter. Another thing to keep in mind is insurance rates are high everywhere right now but they are very high out here on the beach because of hurricanes which there is always a chance that a hurricane hits now i'm 40 years old and i have been hit twice in my life in 40 years we've had two direct hits here so it's not like it's something that happens every year but there's always that chance of a hurricane. So here's what we're gonna do now. We are going to hop in the car and we're gonna go look at some properties that are on the market. I'm gonna show you what these properties look like inside and how much these properties cost. So we are headed to our first spot right now and we're gonna start with some of the lower end price points here on Pensacola Beach and we're gonna end with luxury. This first place that we're pulling into is actually condo units and they're actually very affordable condos for what you're you're getting 419,000 two bed two bath almost a thousand square foot and you but you do have that $520 a month HOA which I've seen HOAs a lot worse than that on condos so it's really that not that bad as you can see it does give you a waterfront view and I'm going to show you, uh, I'm assuming, yep, it's got a pool. So you do have some amenities here. You probably have a place to grill out. You are waterfront. So that's what you're paying for with that HOA. Let's take a look at the inside of this unit. Looks like it's well taken care of. The flooring looks good. I like that a lot. Nice little kitchen. That's the lower end of what you're going to find out here on Pensacola Beach. So we're headed to the next location right now. I just love this drive down Via de Luna. It's really nice. And there's just a lot of nice properties especially beach houses on this main strip. Now here's the next home right here. It is a 4'3", 1,170 square foot, listed for $850,000. And this is a beach house. And so let's, uh, let's take a look at the inside of this beach house and see what it looks like. You're right on the main strip. Here's the aerial view right here. So this is a nice little beach house. Here's the living area and kitchen right here. It does look a little older. Well, I'm curious as to when this was built. It looks like it's got a little bit of wear and tear. It was built in 1981, so it is a little older. A lot of these beach houses are older. So that is about what you're gonna get for 850,000 uh, if you're looking for an actual home out here. If you're looking for a permanent residence, that would be a great little permanent residence spot. Let's go on to uh, the next spot. We are coming up on the next house right now. This is another beach house. It is uh, listed for 975, three, two. Now this one's a little bigger. It's 2,164 square foot. 
This one was built in 1992, just off the main strip. Let's take a look at some of those photos. Looks good from the outside. Yeah, you can tell it's definitely a little older, but they have kept it in what looks like pretty good shape. And here's what's unique about this beach house. You actually get a pretty decent sized yard, which those are really hard to come by on the beach. So I thought this was a pretty cool property for that reason right there. We are coming up on the next spot and we're going to get into the luxury market now. This is it right here. Check this. This place is, this is just an amazing property. It's listed for $3,250,000. Five bedroom, four bath, 3,600 79 square foot. Looks like it might be a new construction. Built in 2023. Let's look at some of the photos. That's a really cool picture of the front of the property right there. As you can see, this is what you're getting. So folks, if you enjoyed that video or got any value from it whatsoever, please shoot me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It's free to do so. And I post new videos hear about the Florida Gulf Coast every week. So uh, if you are considering moving down here, hopefully this channel can help you. And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have, and I'll be happy to assist you with your move. Or if you're needing to sell some property, uh, you can shoot me a text message, uh, give me a call, shoot me an email. All of my information is in the description below. Other than that, we'll catch you next time.